Welcome to the stream. My name is Martin Lord, the video game pianist. I'll begin with the Super Mario Brothers main theme. Happy Glouse, O2, KB Rockstar, Shoyo, Floral Shop, Anxious Heart. Happy Glouse, you're the first one to chat so you can make a free request. In the meantime, I'll play Luma from Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> Back, son of man. How are you, D J D? And yes, I can play uh, Fear Factory. Welcome back, Lighthouse. Thank you. 
Evan Wilkinson. Now I'll play the intro theme to Donkey Kong. <laughs> Kathy Glaus. Now I'll play Super Mario World the title theme. <laughs> Oxford 12 for the super. Yes, I can play the dungeon theme from The Legend of Zelda. Star. Hope you're doing well, KB Rockstar 12. How's it going? Now I'll play the title theme from Super Mario Wii. The new Super Mario Brothers Wii. <laughs> Thank you. 
play the overworld theme from New Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> Dire Dire Docs from Super Mario 64. Welcome back, Brittany's Bets. So for those of you making requests, I take requests via Super Chat. So check out the video description how to make a request through Super Chat. All right, next up, I'll play the Roller Coaster Tycoon intro theme, the main menu theme.
I'll play Animal Crossing Wild World. Now I'll play the underwater theme from Super Mario World. Panalata, thank you so much for the super. Yes, I play the Roost from Wild World.
gonna play KK Love Song from Animal Crossing. <laughs> Since it's 9 p.m., I'll play 9 p.m. from Animal Crossing New Leaf. Kathy Glass, yes, I know KK Love Song is one of your favorites. And here's Koopa Troopa Beach from Mario Kart 64. Thank you. 
play a song that has Shaw Green Hill Zone. GW Studios and guess what there will be a new YouTube video up tomorrow so stay tuned for a video tomorrow where we play piano and chess. I've been working on this video for several hours over the course of the past week so check out the YouTube video coming soon. <laughs> play the song for Hedgehog 2 ending theme. Thank you. 
play Super Mario World the Castle theme. For those making requests, check out the video description on how to make requests. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 3 Overworld 2. Let's help defeat the YouTube algorithm and like the video, share the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel. It's it's a system that we're fighting against. It's not just one entity. It's a whole system that we're fighting against with this algorithm. So that's why I said you know it's it's more difficult than fighting a boss. Like it's like Mario fighting fifty Bowsers at one time because it's we're fighting not just against just one you know, another channel, but it's it's the whole system, the YouTube algorithm that is that we're fighting against because what happened is that I created my channel way many, many years ago when the YouTube algorithm was much different. And then I went to school and I spent a lot of time in school. I didn't develop my YouTube channel as much as, because I was focusing on schoolwork and performing in person and so forth. So as YouTube changed, I didn't keep up with posting videos and and such and such so that's why um, even though I have over 100,000 subscribers the amount of percentage of subscribers that get notified when I go live or post a video is around only 3% so uh, that's why I say like uh, we need to fight against the system because in order to do that I need your help because uh, it's again it's a systemic thing so it's it's the change is not we can't uh, accomplish changes on the surface it has to be real change and the change has to come from you so for people to say oh i wish you had more subscribers i wish you had you know more and more views etc well that's not enough to be realistic i appreciate the thoughts but thoughts 
actions speak louder than words. So, uh, you know, share the channel, uh, tell people about the channel, subscribe to the channel, you know, a comment, post, like, things like that. Take actions. Don't just say, oh, I wish you had more subscribers or you deserve more subscribers. I appreciate it, but it's like, uh, it's not enough. It's really not enough. It, we're fighting against a system here. So uh, that's the spiel because it's really important for everybody to understand that because uh, it's not just something you make a uh, superficial, you know, something and it, it, it fixes itself. It's not going to work like this, okay? So uh, the amount of subscribers from my channel has stayed about the same for one year and there hasn't been enough growth and I, I've been working hard with streaming and posting videos but you know I really need your help uh, in order to make this change it's not just gonna be me just uh, posting videos and streaming like this so if I do if, if this pattern change continues for the next 20 years you know it's not going to be the enough change so I really need change from you it's your help that's really going to make the difference and this is the real talk you know there's, there's no way around it so thank you, Dubulgano32, for the super horse race from Zola. Yes, here's a horse race theme from Zola, Majora's Mask. <laughs> theme from Ocarina of Time.
Spiral Mountain from Banjo Kazooie. Thank you to those who like the stream. We're at 42 likes. Hooray! stream because it's 10 p.m. quiet hours so thank you all for joining it's been a lot of fun a short but sweet stream I'll try to stream more often but I've been working on these YouTube videos you know these making these YouTube videos takes hours and hours and hours of time to uh, create the videos and you know sometimes I wonder if it's better if I just do a lot of streaming because you know with the streaming it's it's there's a lot of interaction on the stream you know I get the super chats and you know and take requests the videos, you know, I, I, I get can get a lot of views on videos, but uh, it's the engagement. I don't engage in real time with all of you, and it takes a lot of time when I could spend that time streaming. So, you know, all of the videos I made recently, I could have streamed instead of making those videos. But, you know, I'll find a balance. I'll find a balance. And, the piano chess on Twitch, it's, it's getting a lot of views. You know, on, when I stream on Twitch, I sometimes get like 500 to 600 concurrent viewers. And you know, on YouTube, I get like 330 to 40 concurrent viewers. But, you know, it's, it's funny because, you know, I see some people like post piano you know, videos on Instagram and they get like 20,000, 40,000 views. And then you go to the YouTube channel, they only have like 3,000 subscribers. It's really kind of funny how this works, you know, because, you know, it's all on the internet, but some people... They'll only go on Instagram and on YouTube, or they'll go on Twitch and on YouTube, or they'll go on like Reddit and not on YouTube and, and so forth. It's not even out. You, you, you think that you know all the social media and the people on the internet, is, they'd go from one platform to the other. It wouldn't be too hard to go, uh, you know, have different viewership, have, you know, have one, have the following go from one platform to the other. But there is really a huge difference. Like some people have like, uh, millions of uh, followers on on Twitch but then like on Twitter they don't have as many followers or they can have a lot of followers on YouTube but 
or not have many followers on Instagram. It's like this huge disparity. So I guess, you know, it, you just you just try the platforms and whatever audience you get, that's what you work with. I mean, I, I, I get a lot of viewers on Twitch. I could, I could move all of my energies to Twitch and then grow my Twitch channel from there because if I continue splitting up my energies from Twitch, YouTube, and so forth, then you know I'm I'm in different places and I can't really go in any direction. So one thing I could do is I could do streaming on Twitch and then I could post my Twitch streams or parts of the Twitch streams on YouTube. And I've seen that happen. I've seen some people on Twitch they uh, they post the Twitch streams on YouTube and now the YouTube channel they have like several hundred thousand subscribers and all they do is post the Twitch streams on YouTube. They don't, okay, they make custom thumbnails, they have somebody create custom thumbnails for the videos, but they don't They don't create specific content for YouTube. They're just using their Twitch material and posting on YouTube and they get hundreds of thousands of subscribers. So that's something I could uh, do, um, and that will all, that, that, you know, could do something like that. So that's my piano chess video coming up tomorrow. I already uploaded to my channel but I haven't publicly released it yet, but it's a piano chess video and it's, uh, it's, it's pretty, it's interesting. So I hope you enjoy it. And uh, maybe I'll post more of like the Twitch content on YouTube. So thank you all for watching and thank you to those who made super chats and support the stream, I really appreciate it. And yes, there is a lot of viewership on Twitch. Uh, like there's a there's the Sully Gnome site that shows the Twitch statistics all publicly available. SullyGnome.com, and then you see like a lot of people are on Twitch and stuff. So it's and then there's like other platforms for streaming. So uh, but I I've I've gotten more success on Twitch than on YouTube. But it, like really like hundreds like 500, 600 concurrent viewers on Twitch and on YouTube, it's like 30 to 40. And I'm really not doing anything. Okay, I'm playing piano chess on Twitch, but I'm not like, it's not like I'm, I'm, my, I'm super, even, even more super skilled at Twitch streaming. It's just like my, I found my audience on Twitch and that's where it's growing. So I don't know, it, it's, it's funny how these, different social media platforms, you can find different audiences and different platforms and then you can build an audience from there. So that's, that's where it is. Welcome Darren W to the stream. You know, it's, uh, it depends on how my channel grows. It depends on how the audience develops. I can't really make any uh, promises, but on piano chess on Twitch, there's a lot of piano chess uh, people really enjoy it, and even the grandmasters, like professional chess players, they uh, enjoy my content, and my streams. And, like even the elite grandmasters, like the top grandmasters in the world, you know, they're like approximately like say one billion chess players in the world, and the top twenty, some of the players in the top twenty of that one billion, they've seen my streams and they enjoy my content. And some of them, they've like some super grandmasters and professional grandmasters have stopped by midstream and like and watch it for several hours. So <laughs> it's pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, there's, there's, uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's because yeah, I mean, I, I like streaming Twitch and YouTube, but you know, I eventually have to make a choice because you know, I don't want to stream like 30 hours on Twitch a week and 30 hours on YouTube a week. And that's, that's a lot. I mean, I do want to do streaming full time. I, I do, I see, I can, I can do, I can stream full time and I could see that being my, my primary job streaming because I, I, I've in like in January, February and March, I've seen, I've put in like, hours streaming and I've seen that I've seen my potential for growth so um, yeah I would like to stream more but like I have other work that I do and it like I have to balance everything of course but I another one of my goals I mean I, I see super you know like these streamers they're streaming full-time I'm like hey I can do that I, I, I think I can do that 
So, uh, but you know, it's a balance, balancing all my responsibilities. So I do have other responsibilities. I cannot just stream like four hours, five hours, unless, you know, I have to do it. I have other responsibilities as well. So, all right, thank you all for joining the stream. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, your support on YouTube is really helping the change because it's fighting the system. It's a systemic issue. Why my channel's not growing? It's uh, the YouTube algorithm. So we need to fight against the YouTube algorithm. It's like fighting 50 Bowsers at one time. It's just not one Bowser, it's 50 because it's a super, you know, it's in, it's in the system, you know, all these cogs and wheels are turning. It's not just like one small wheel, like a hamster runs around in. It's it's whole system that we're fighting against. So uh, it, it's to make real change takes real effort. It's not going to be easy. So I really do need your help and and such. So uh, that's that will that is what can make the change for YouTube here. So thank you all for watching and hope to see you at the next stream. Bye-bye.